Michael Schutz, an assistant music professor at McMaster University, has been doing extensive research on something called a musical illusion. But I will let Mr. Schutz explain exactly what it is. Um, so what I found is this example where the sounds that performers are producing are not actually the same as what the audience is hearing. Uh, sort of the definition of what an illusion is any time that we're perceiving something that is not actually there in the world, so to speak. Let's take the marimba, for example, which is a xylophone-like instrument. On the marimba, it is impossible to control the acoustic duration of a note, like you would on a piano, by pressing the pedal. But with the appropriate gesture while playing, the rules change. Uh, what I found is that if we strike a note using a long gesture like this, it actually sounds longer than if we strike a note using a short gesture like this. Even though the note, acoustically speaking, is actually identical in duration. This is because the brain integrates auditory and visual information, and so the visual information from the long gesture actually changes the way the note sounds. If what we see actually affects what we hear, then what does this mean for musicians performing in front of an audience? Because when I walk on stage and perform, I need to know that I'm getting the audience to hear what I want them to hear. Um, turns out I can't do that using acoustics alone, but I can do that using the gestures. And that's really the point of what music, musical communication is. It's getting the audience to hear the idea that I have in my mind as a performer. I'm Mark Vituska for Hamilton Life.